Hey Jamie, I'm making this video just for you, not because I don't think you know how to do your makeup or your skincare, but maybe this will help when you get your CC cream. So um, answer any questions that you might have or um, you can just laugh at this, okay? <laughs> so actually first I need to lip scrub because I can feel like I have dry lips. Like right now my skin is like crazy. I have like oily, like a zit here I haven't had in like 25 years. And then one up here. So my body's kind of going through this detox thing. So my skin is all kind of crazy now and I have oily skin now for the first time since I was like 18. But anyway, but my lips are still super dry. Weird. So I had to change all my skincare to the oily, but I love it. And actually, I even had to start using like the Clear Proof line too. Oh, I love Mary Kay. What do you use for skincare? What do you do? What like soaps, lotions, sunscreen, fine lines, wrinkle stuff? Do you use anything? Your skin looks great, by the way. But I'll have to, I'm gonna be honest with you. The picture of you without makeup looks you look much younger than when you had foundation on makeup. True. So, you're definitely right about wanting to get a foundation that's light in coverage. Well, not coverage, but, well, you don't need a lot of coverage. Your skin is beautiful. But if you're trying not to get into the cakiness or the heaviness to settle into lines, I have lines. I get no makeup, okay? Just I did my skincare and just for this early. I mean, for you. I mean, I did it earlier, but redid it. Okay, so I did my skincare. My lips feel better. I had a big chunk of like, you know, dry skin sitting around there. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead, since I don't have any foundation on, is I'm just going to put the lip, or, um, Satin Lips Lip Balm on. So it can already kind of absorb and sit in. And then at the same time, I take, I'm just telling you what my daily routine is in case you ever want to try these products. You're way younger than me and you probably don't need them. This is lip or age fighting lip primer. I don't necessarily put it on my lips as I do on the edges because it's kind of drying. I did put it on there a little bit right now with the balm. Okay, so what I'm gonna be giving you, okay, so you have the foundation, the matte foundation. See, I have it too. And I actually wear um, ivory in, oh my gosh, I'm also blind, so it's hard to do, read stuff. Oh, I think I wear the same as you, as you picked out. Ivory in 160. Yeah. Actually, because I think you're beige. I know you were in the ivory colors with um, the Estee Lauder, but I definitely think you're beige. Okay, and that would help you get more coverage. So uh, I think you're back like a beige 120, a beige 130. So I'm going to send you samples of those so you can try. Okay. And this is where I want you to try it. You do streaks like this, and whichever color like disappears. That's your match, not here or here. Okay, that's not your face. See, it's not the same color. <laughs> so we want to match here, and we want it to kind of match your neck. So you, we usually do a three-stripe test, but since we can't get in contact, we are definitely saying if you want a foundation without going through craziness, CC cream. I love the CC cream. Actually, CC cream is kind of mixed into this foundation. That's why I'm so happy it, it came out last summer. Because you get the same benefits, but a foundation. Okay, I know I'm making you feel crazy. So, light to medium CC cream. It's going to look like this. Okay. Yes, light to medium. And so, before I do that, I'm going to apply my oil, oil <laughs> mattifier. Okay. This is not a primer. This is to actually matte 
the oils on your face, okay? It works really well. See, look, I'm getting like this weird pimple here and here. Oh. Skin changes, crazy. Okay, so full mattifier is a great product you might wanna think about. And yeah, I know you said you already have a primer, face primer. I love ours, I'm sure you love yours. So, feels like silk. And why do we use face primer? I know you know all this. I'm pretending like I'm teaching a class, okay? <laughs> um, because it helps shrink in those pores. Okay, so it goes in the pores and covers them. Kind of fills in the holes to make it a blank canvas. So when you put on your foundation or your CC cream, it's gonna like slide right over those lines. And it's also gonna stay, and ours has SPF in it. You wouldn't even know. Also our CC cream, I think has SPF. Yeah, it's a SPF of 15. Primer is SPF of 15. So we're layering, not combining SPFs. Okay, so this is what I do. I know you said you have a round makeup brush. This is our blending brush for full coverage. I absolutely love it. I do have a round makeup brush. If yours kind of looks like this, like this. Um, so let me show you the blending brush, okay? You're, you can do it either, either way. I mean, this just came out last year with the foundation and the, breast, the bristles are super, like so tight. Oh, it just feels, it feels amazing. I actually have one customer that she has nerve damage in her face. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in my hand like, oh my gosh, I'm always out. Good thing I know somebody. You think I'm crazy yet? Um, no, please don't. Okay, luckily I know somebody who has some more. So I'm gonna, I take about three dots, that's probably more than I need. Sometimes I'll just, you know, I don't know how, you can just do it however you're comfortable with. Um, put the dots with your finger. Some people just go ahead and dip their brushes into their foundation. Please don't use your fingers because our fingers have bacteria and it just doesn't smooth as well. Now I can rub it on my hand though. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna start, you know, and this is, this brush is so awesome and it got, so fast, especially if you're in a hurry, which I'm sure you are when you're on the way to work, because you live out in the boonies, girl, which I think that is so awesome because I grew up in Hardy County in the boonies. And when you talk about getting to town, it's like, you go to town once and you don't have to drive and go again <laughs> once you get home. But it's beautiful out where you live, I have to say, gorgeous. It was a wonderful, peaceful drive. Okay, so as you can see, now because and I do go over my eyelids, and I just blend it. And it's called the blending brush. And this brush feels so good. Sometimes I'm like, okay, Darcy, you're good. It's already covered. Like I said, it gives full coverage. However, if you want more coverage, add a little more. What's so great about our CC creams and our foundation, you can build on them. So don't put a lot on at once if you're trying to get a lot of coverage. Just build over it. Now, like I said, even though I put facial primer on, make, make foundation primer, you can use the CC cream as a primer. So if you want more coverage on your face for certain areas, that's when I would pull out my foundation. 
but I'm going to get you a beige, okay? Because I don't think you're ivory. I am an ivory. Um, but see, now I'm going to like, if say if I want to discover my nose a little bit more. And maybe some freckles over here. Maybe that zit right there. It's crazy. Bull and then like my chin gets red. Which I'm so excited about our new red. Our green corrector. Green thing that's coming out this summer. May 10th I can order. So, okay. So watch. So now I have foundation. That I'm going to put on top. Even though I think I could probably wear a darker color too. Especially in the summer. But it totally... That red thing. Oh, I need to work on that. Ah, oh, yes. Took that redness right away. So, see? I had more coverage. And it definitely did. So also, if you have a blending sponge, wet it, of course. And then add the foundation there and you can add more. But do all this before you ever add powder, okay? You don't ever add powder, um, want to recover after you um, put your powder on your face. You don't want to add foundation or it will definitely cake, okay? So, just giving you some little tips that you might already know. And if you know them, just be like, yeah, okay, okay, no problem, Darcy. I get you. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you how you can use the flat part of, I'm just gonna add a little bit more foundation if I want to get like my nose, my chin right here. I'm definitely, what, what the heck is going on up here? I don't know with my skin. I think there's a pimple underneath there. So I treated it, oh yes. And my hair is gonna be down, you won't really see it, but it up so and then you just blot it you know and I have these horrible dark circles under my eyes which I will treat that and of course I wanted to get really in there but I don't want to cake this really sensitive area right around your skin or your especially if we have any wrinkles that set I just want to just pat it There you go. That's the CC cream. Now, you said you didn't like the eyeshadows because you didn't think they um, showed up well. So this is what I'm thinking. I wanna show you my palette. Okay, these are the, the colors I use currently, or I have used, plus, No, okay, these are all the eye colors I use so far. Okay, so what I've been doing, so since I have a foundation on my eyelids, you can use, I don't have to use eye primer. I have a hair. <laughs> um, but I love eye primer. I mean, especially because I'm older and I need, I don't want, um, since I have hooded eyes, right? So... I'm just gonna put a little bit on so I'm making sure it, it sticks. And also it's really gonna make the pigment jump out at you, okay? And I'm gonna show you that. And I can show you on my hand too, how it works. So I'm gonna put, since I have foundation on here or CC cream, I'm gonna put a little bit of eye cream or primer. Just pretend we're like having this like one on one chat. Okay, so you also have a liquid foundation, uh, eyeshadow. I mean, liquid eyeshadow. I absolutely love them. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start off with this light color, which is light light beam. Maybe oh, I hate it when I can't. So, but before I do that, have the eye primer. I'm gonna I'm going to take my light color blossom and just feel the eyelid, okay? 
and you want it to look bright, okay? You want it to look light, the underneath color, under, especially underneath your eyebrows, right? And where do you want, I know you have inset eyes, which is perfectly beautiful. So where are you wanting to your eyeshadow to, sh to shine, right? So, so people can, you know, so you can see it, let it sh show up your beautiful green eyes. So what I'm gonna do, the liquid eyeshadow you don't wanna put in the crease, okay? So I'm just gonna put it on the bottom here. And then I do put it near the brow bone. Yeah. I've got to order more of this. These are going like right now, the meteor shower has been out of stock. Only because of the COVID stuff. Like for some reason, they don't con the government doesn't consider color <laughs> an essential item. So if you're using the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow. I would hope, um, don't use your finger because it will change the color, okay? It really will. So if you have a cream brush or any kind of um, liquid brush, like you use for um, concealer, use that and just blend it in, okay? But then we're going to go to hit the outside, okay? R right underneath the brow bone. And I'm not an expert, okay, with eyeshadow, but I am totally have learned some great tips and how to make our eyes look more open. So I know I have lighter skin than you do, but we only, we always want to start. I don't know what, what is that? Um, light first, right? So like I could totally just wear this like for a casual, like I'm just going to the store. But for your case, in my case, I'm gonna show you something. So I added the blossom was underneath because I gave you a matte. I know you had three shiny um, glittery eyeshadows and I made sure you had one that was a matte because you want to, I think it was, it might've been blossom or candlelight or maybe it wasn't candlelight. Hazelnut maybe, I don't know. Could have been blossom, because that's like a go-to for everyone. Um, looks good on everybody. So I put that on first because as you can see, the pigment of the liquid eyeshadow really stood out when it's when it's connected to a matte finish. Okay, so and I had the eyelid primer, so you can definitely see how it's shiny it is. Okay, however, I'm gonna take another matte color. Um, there's desert rose, dusty rose. You totally could get away. You got frozen iris. Did you not get moss or emerald? You need a green. You need a green. And there, it's not super crazy green. Okay. Okay. So I should, probably should use a crease brush, but I'm just going to add another matte on top of this outside color. So make sure you're putting your eyeshadow near your brow bone, but near the outside, because we don't want your eyes to look more inset and close together. We want them to look wider and open. And then we just kind of blend that together. And if you think that's too much, that's where this beauty I didn't give you, it's called Crystalline. I put that in the inner corners of my eyes. But just look at this pigment. If you want even more pigment than that, just add more to your brush. And if you have finishing spray, spray it on your brush first and then dip it in the eyeshadow and you're like, wow, it will, and not only will it, bring out more pigment, but it will, um, it will stay longer too. Even though our Chromal Fusion eyeshadows really, they don't fall. They're really good about not falling, like, you know what I mean, underneath your eyes. So I'm gonna, just gonna blend this, cause I want, and one 
inside, you know, my look. I, I don't think I add, I put on a lot of um, eyeshadow where I totally could put on more. So just keep adding. It's buildable, okay? All of our stuff is buildable. So just add, keep adding till you get what you like. So not too bad for, so that was a base color. Um, I'm gonna clean my brush here. And, which was the blossom, and I can totally go over it to soften the edges, okay? If you don't like, if it looks like it's, I had too much fun with my marker or something. And I haven't done my eyebrows, okay? Which I'm not great at. But so for the crystalline, we have this awesome brush. It's really a smudger brush. It's like a little sponge. Ooh, I just I had my I used that earlier. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna take the crystalline, and I'm just gonna put it in the corner of my eye. See, so it'll reflect. So it's got a it's it's not a matte. It's the shiny, but we want the light to reflect that not and be bright we want our eyes to be bright not dark so there you go i could add it underneath but i'm not i'm too old for that <laughs> so that's it basically i know you don't like bronzing powder you said but can i just show you this okay first of all isn't this palette amazing it's a honeycomb it's a spring limited edition and when there's limited mary Kay means limited so it has a cool mirror and here, look at these. You have to admit they're gorgeous. They're swirly. They're swirly. And this is what I like to do. So I gave you a brush. I like to use this really big one. Oh, wait. I don't need that yet. We totally forgot. Our loose powder. Friends loose powder, right? It's our finishing. It's what we do at the end. But I'm not going to do it yet because I haven't done concealer under here. Okay, so I'd put, I would do concealer. I have, we have under eye corrector and a concealer that I'll put under here and then I will not bake, but I'll just lightly dust it. So normally like it would take my finger, you know, and so say look, yay, finishing powder. Okay, so make sure you finish, do your finishing powder. And then I would take, and I'll just show you this bronze color. And it just goes on. Not like, like a brush, but I mean a blush, but just like where the sun would kiss you. If you were out in the sun. Your T-zone. Put on your cheeks and just go right into your hairline. Okay, so I think it looks nice. And it's not too drastic. And if you want even more of a darker one, and I have a little bit of a shine, a shimmer. It's beautiful. We gotta get together. Okay. So that's it, my love. About the CC cream, the foundations. I hope I answer most of your questions. This item. Did I show it to you? Have you been on my page? Go to my Facebook page. Please like it. And you're gonna see this cool product. It's a limited edition summer product. But it's a lip pH balance lip balm. You can cut in, Josie. It's just, a, I'm not live. Oh, okay. And it matches the pH of your lips. And after a few seconds, I think mine's already turning. It's a beautiful pink. And it'll be different on everybody's lips. Either it's like a pinkish or a coral color. I love it. And it stays on all day. And it doesn't wear off. And I don't even have to put on liner. So, okay, Jamie, if you have any questions, I know this was like 24 minutes, almost 25, and it was long. So fast forward, go back, pause, whatever. If you have any questions, call me, okay? And I'll see you soon.